Today we learned about how things fly. Today, DJI has landed on the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. The Intrepid is hosting one of the very first drone exhibits called Drones, Is the Sky the Limit? This DJI sponsored exhibit really showcases the history of unmanned aerial vehicles and also displays what this technology has already provided in many different areas such as agriculture, public safety and arts. We will also be meeting with young students and inner city kids. Together we will explore the physics of flight. We will talk about drones, how drones operate, what are the important components and what else is needed to really use these platforms in valuable and beneficial ways. The Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum is a amazing museum where we blend history, the humanities, and STEM. There's a rich history here of innovation. And so we really take that idea and run with it in exhibitions like Drones is the Sky the Limit. In the education department, we are now starting to use drones in our demonstrations, uh, in our family programming, and also in our camps. This summer we're running our Camp Intrepid, which is incorporating drones into several of the lessons, exploring topics such as programming and aerospace design. The fantastic thing about using drones in the classroom is that kids already know about them. They're interested in them, they've heard of them, maybe they even own them. So the ability to give them something that they can immediately relate to is really fantastic. They want to know so much about them, more than just what can I do with this at home, but what can I do with it in the future. So like you could have a smaller drone going into a small space and then finding the bigger area and a bigger way to enter in. You know, this is the way you inspire the next wave of engineers, the next wave of filmmakers, the next wave of photographers. And we want to give students those tools. We want them to understand how to use them because when we take that knowledge and apply it, that's when really incredible things can happen. I learned about drones and how they fly and work. I think I liked the small one because if I had the small one, I would just stuff it in a very small place and it wouldn't be too big to fit in my room. <laughs>